That was weird during the Ukraine uh, invasion where they started stealing their yachts. <laughs> I know. They just confiscated their yachts. I was like, I what happened what? to that? That kind of went away too. I don't know. And also, like, what are those things? You got to maintain those things. Yeah. Are they just like, cities? Like, if you have like a Mark Zuckerberg type yacht, like he just had some $300 million yacht built. Nice. I, I think actually more than that. I think it's $500 million wow. for this yacht. Yeah. And how much does that cost a year to maintain? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. here it is. Um, U.S. government said it's spending more than $7 million a year to maintain a super yacht it sees <laughs> from a sanctioned Russian oligarch oh. and urged a judge to let it auction the vessel before a dispute over its ownership is resolved. Oh, man. Authorities in Fiji seized the 348-foot, $300 million Ameda in May of 2022, pursuant to a U.S. warrant alleging it's owned by Suleiman Kurimov, a multi-billionaire sanctioned by the U.S. Treasury Department in 2014 and 2018 in response to Russia's activities in Syria and Ukraine. Jesus. Dang. Look at that. Wow. Man. Wow. That's crazy. So that's just one. And one we're of paying them. for that. Here are the super yachts seized from Russian oligarchs. And we're paying to maintain those. Yeah. Oh, that's so brutal. How many so of them are brutal. there? But <laughs> Boy, there's a lot of clicks. You got to go through these things. I am not. Yeah. How many of them are there? How many did they get? So that's the one that we just talked about. Uh, this is the Tango, the Ooh. Lady M, these <laughs> massive things. Yeah. And so these Russian oligarchs, a lot of them, they rush to get their yachts to different countries that are more sympathetic. Yeah. That let them get away with it. Yeah. But I don't even know how that works. Like if they yeah, go yeah. out into the sea, can they get hijacked? International waters. Yeah. How does that work? I don't know. I just it was concentrating on the seven million bucks a year to, to maintain. Yeah, our money. Yep. Our tax pol- yeah. our, our tax dollars well are going to maintain spent. a yacht. Well and, spent. What it, but I don't understand. Like what is so are they saying that these Russian oligarchs were a part of the invasion of Ukraine, so they're allowed to steal their yachts? I think they're talking they're they're saying it's Putin's, uh, I guess, inner circle, something like that. Yeah, yeah. so he's, they're connected to Putin, so they're going to snatch their yachts. Yeah, whoever. I mean, we all know that he's one of the richest guys in the world. He might be the richest guy. They say. I think yeah, so. he might be worth like some insane amount. Isn't that wild? Going from yeah, the KGB they don't really know. to the richest guy in the world. Well, have you seen that house that they're allegedly building for him? That, that, is it the one on the? Uh, uh, it's on the coast. There's yeah, one on the cliffs. I put it in the last book. I think if it's the same one. I think so. Underground. Bunkers, yeah, and I don't all even, sorts of stuff. They haven't even proven that it's his, and he's like, uh-huh. "That's not my house." Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I put it in the last book. Yeah, it's a, it's wild. You can zoom in on it. You can zoom in on it and check it out and see. Yeah, it's these a multi billion dollar house. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Gosh. Whatever this thing is, yeah. whether it's his or not. Yeah. But but a five hundred million dollar yacht from Zuckerberg, he's not missing that though. Isn't no, that crazy? That's nuts. You don't even miss five hundred million. Yeah, that's when you should get a yacht. You yeah, got that kind of you money. Don't, <laughs> You got so much money that you don't even notice if you're missing five hundred million. No, there's levels. Yeah, there's levels to this well, world. <laughs> it's Facebook all, billionaire Zuckerberg takes out his three hundred million dollar super yacht and thirty million dollar support boat, mm-hmm. <laughs> complete with helipad. Yep. And Mallorca as he celebrates Father's Day with his wa- his dad Ed. I think they used to call them like oh. shadow yachts or something like that, and they'd carry all the toys. Look at so that you have the main yacht. yacht, and then you have the shadow yacht that has all the toys on it. Look at that thing. Imagine your kid. Six. Buys one of those, you're like, man, I'm yeah. raised a fucking killer. Look at that. Yeah. That is ridiculous. Is that the sport yacht? What's that? Yeah. Oh, no, it's something else. That's like a helipad. That's a different one, right? Man. That the support boat, yeah. That's a support boat. Yeah. That's a support boat? Yeah. That good thing? It's just got an extra boat on the it's side. An extra boat, yeah. helicopter. That, that's insane. That support boat is huge. Jeez. It probably has underneath, it probably has a submarine. Some of these things have two submarines. I was on one that had two submarines once, one that just goes straight down and one that goes in the water and then you can move around in it and you like explore reefs and stuff like that. So two submarines, uh, a plane that comes out and the wings fold down. I've seen that. Fly. I've yeah. seen that with helicopters and the helicopter. too. Helicopter, yeah. Your helicopters that land and the, the, the <laughs> wings fold, yeah. and then you drop it down. Uh-huh. Like, what the? Yeah, that's pretty sick. Yeah. So there's levels. Yeah, it's all relative. You know, it is all relative. I guess it's just like at a certain point in time, like, you, like if you're a Russian oligarch and you have a, a three hundred million dollar yacht and someone steals it, hmm. can you even get another one? Are you allowed to get a new one? <laughs> Probably. But I like, get another one. If you have all that money. Right. Like, if you get where, another one. Where the fuck are you getting all that money? Like, what are you doing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
I mean, it was such an interesting time, end of the Cold War, that whole period in the 90s for those guys where uh-huh. really those criminal enterprises really become like a government. Um, yeah. And not to say it's that much different here. We have our own oligarchy here as well. Yeah, well. that's the thing too, is like, how are they governing? Like, what what's the experience for the people they're governing? And that's the thing that Tucker said when he went over to Moscow. I was like, it's beautiful. It's mm-hmm. like real clean, safe. Yeah. Which is weird. Yeah. I want to go and do some research there, but once again, I'm probably not. But I was lucky enough to have gone there. (laughs) Uh, I would would advise you to not. (laughs) (laughs) I know. But luckily, I was there. So I was in Moscow uh, before I joined the military, just traveling. So I was there so I can write about it. I remember the architecture. I Mm -hmm. remember the feeling there. Uh, So that was early 90s. And then I also went to Odessa, Ukraine back then. Oh, wow. Um, So I went to the catacombs under the city, which allowed me to then put it in the second book, True Believer. So I think back to some of those places that I've been and get to weave those in and places that I probably shouldn't go anymore. Yeah, you're you know. too on the nose with a lot of your work, and yeah. it's, it's, now it's influential. 